Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you some fun projects and a few little tips and tricks with some of the latest lever punches from Fiskars. Some of them have got little white uh, plastic pieces in them, they're for the corners, so they're called a corner lever punch. And then you've got just your normal lever punch without the plastic um, alignment grid. So I'm just going to show you the difference first and then um, we'll get on to um, a few little ideas that I can share with you. I'm just going to move around the other side of the table. Okay, this one here is a scalloped uh, circle. If we lift it upside down you'll see that's where the punch shape drops out. So if I just start with this one, I'll turn it upside down and then pop this down here and lift up the bottom and out comes your punched out shape. How cool is that? And these come in a range of sizes. That one's a scallop circle. Then I've got here the large, or actually this is the about the triple X large circle. And as you can see it's quite big, but if you're like me, you can never have enough circle punches and this one's fantastic. So it works on the same idea. You just push the lever down and the shape comes underneath and you empty it out. Okay, pop those out of the way. I've got one more here that's just a normal lever punch. This one here is the butterfly and I must admit I use this one all the time. It's a fantastic one. I love doing things like, uh, let me grab a card here. Where, whereby I've punched out the little butterfly and you just lift up its wings and make, make it look a little bit 3D. And here's another card using that same butterfly lever punch. And once again, I've lifted the wings up to make it look a little bit 3D. Okay, so you can have a lot of fun, but I use that one all the time in my cards. Okay, let's get on to the corner lever punches now. Now they come in a range of... Um, shapes as well and they all have this little plastic alignment grid underneath which just slots out like this okay they are interchangeable so say you've got two of these punches and you happen to lose or misplace these two then the ones that say in the lattice punch here will fit the heart punch or vice versa okay um First of all, perhaps if I pop that back in, I'll just show you what these can do with the alignment grid in. Okay, so this one's got the heart, and what the alignment grid did does, it makes it perfect. You can just perfectly push that in there into a the perfect corner every time. Not like some of those other punches whereby you've got to sort of juggle it around. By having that alignment grid, it just makes things so much easier. And look how gorgeous these are. You can use that as a mat on your photo. And I'm going to show you a few examples in a little bit. Okay. Then you can take these. I'll move these other two out of the way. This one's bracket. This one's lattice. So as you can see, there's some gorgeous designs. This one's all the holes. I'll move those to the back. And we'll take the alignment grid out now, tip the punch over, and I haven't emptied this from earlier, so I'll just tip those out, but I wanted to show you that you can actually see the punch underneath. So now what we can do is get a strip of paper, so with your trimmer just cut off um, a long strip. You can push that underneath, watching where you're going, okay, and punch it, then move it along slightly and you should be able to just see where you've just punched. Okay, if you can't, you might need to just empty those out so that you can see right through. And pop it back in again. And what I'm doing, I don't know whether you can see this, but I'm lining it up just on top of where I've punched the time before. So that you can go all the way along and make this gorgeous, okay, if I show you, see how I've made this gorgeous, um, my own shadow here, this gorgeous design. You can go along and make gorgeous borders. Okay, and I could have gone all the way along. This is actually a 12 inch strip, so that would look perfect on the bottom of a scrapbook page or um, on the bottom of a card. 
there's another little one I did earlier okay with that same idea um, let's have a look if I can find here's I moved these back out of the way there's this one off here here's a couple of ideas that um, you may find useful I like to cut strips of paper and then play around with the punches when I get them so this one at the top here was using lattice and heart and then another lattice so it was this one that was in the pack and the heart okay by taking the plastic alignment grids out you can make borders so you, you're really getting two punches in one you're getting a corner punch but you're also getting a punch that can go along the edges and make borders this one here I've just um, used the heart like I just did before but then I've gone along with the um, uh, one quarter inch circle hand punch from Fiskars and then I've just made my own design and here I've got the lattice heart, lattice heart down the bottom it's just the lattice done the same way tipped upside down and you take the alignment grid out to do that okay let's see if I can find some more samples um, this one here, oh that one might be upside down I think, I'm not sure if you can see this, but here I've got the heart and then what I've done, so I've used the corner lever heart here in the red and then I've gone along on the other side of the strip with the Fiskars Sunburst Border Punch and look at the gorgeous design it's created, so you, you can imagine that on a card it could look really quite stunning. The one next to it was just done with the lattice and I've just punched each corner and then added a little two inch square in the middle of it. Oh, there's one on the back. This one was done with a two inch square with the corner lever heart punch and I've done it in red. So it just um, gives you a slightly different effect. Okay, what else can I find here? Here's another sample using the corner lever heart one. This is just a little thank you card that I've made for someone recently and I've used the corner lever punch in the four corners there. Okay, here's a, a few more examples using the uh, lever punches. I'll just move that one out of the way. This one here was um, using all the holes corner lever punch and I've made it into a bookmark. So as you can see, I've just gone along one side and then back along the other. Uh, the same punch, but this time for a card. And um, I hope you can see that. I've also used the butterfly lever punch up here, where I lift the wings up as well. And down the bottom, that's all the holes, uh, corner lever punch. And of course, I've used the Fiskars star squeeze punch as well um, to make that card. And then lastly, I shared this card um, on an earlier video of my son Sam for his second birthday later in the year, but it also shows how I've used the corner heart, corner lever heart punch here, where his name is, and then underneath when you pull the slider card out, I've used the corner lever all the holes punch along the edge as well. And um, this card actually uses quite a few Fiskars punches. I've also used the Square Alicious squeeze punch here. And inside I've used the seal of approval for Sam's photo as well. And there's actually a little heart, punched out heart in there as well. But um, yeah, what I've tried to show on this card is using the corner lever punches in two different ways. So either for a corner, like the hearts here, or for making a border like the inside of the card. Okay, I hope you found um, that helpful today and have, pu have fun punching. When you get new tools, play, play, play with them. You really need to just play for a while and see what the punches can do. Okay, bye.